sa tutorial natin ngayon, we will cover the superposition method in structural theory. But let's focus on uh, simply supported beams. Ito kasi yung medyo mahirap. Now, for simply supported beams, you only have to memorize the following formulas. Itong tatlo. Now, in a separate video, I also discussed how to obtain the deflection uh, doon sa overhang or any point in the beam kapag meron tayong overhanging portion, then sa overhang merong load doon. Now, dito naman, let's focus on any point sa beam na pagkukuna natin ng deflection. So, this is our general figure. We have a load P applied at a distance A from the left support. Then, it is also applied at a distance B considering the right support. Now, if we want to obtain the deflection at a point X uh, measured from the left yan, from the left support, let's say this point, we want to obtain this deflection, then we can use this formula. We have P times B times X divided by 6 multiplied by the length EI. Uh, yung length pala dyan is equal to A plus B, total length of the beam. Now, take note that this is for the simply supported part. So, kapag merong overhang, then you will just use this length pa rin, A plus B. Then, multiplied by L squared minus B squared minus X squared. So, this is easy to memorize since nakapattern lang. We have B times X. So, dito naman, minus B squared minus X squared. Now, this is only applicable, take note, if X is lesser than or equal to A. So, kaya ito yung figure natin, this point is slightly to the left of the applied load. So, uh, this is a key consideration. Dapat mas maliit yung x kesa sa a. Now, another formula that's ideal to memorize would be the slope values at the supports. So, we have the slope at a is equal to p times a times b over 6l ei multiplied by 2l minus a. Then, kapag slope at b naman, we have PAB 6L times EI multiplied by 2L minus B. So take note that this assumes an elastic curve that looks like this. Parang ganyan. Kasi downward kasi yung load natin. Now, ano yung gagawin if we have an upward load? If merong upward load, then magbabago yung elastic curve. It will become like this. Ayan. Yan lang yung i-consider mo. So, essentially, you can just use negative values. But let's just deal with uh, downward loads sa example natin. Now, sir, what if x is greater than a? Ano yung gagawin? ba mas maganda if we can generalize formulas so that we can apply this all the time. Now, thankfully, we can do that. So, gagawin natin yan by mirroring the beam. So, yung essential na question is, what if we want to obtain the deflection at this particular point. Now, obtaining the deflection at this point, yung x natin will be greater than a. Kasi ito yung pagkukuna natin ng deflection. So, essentially, it would become like this. Ayan. So, we have our x value greater than a. Pag ito yung kukuna natin ng deflection. So, what we're going to do is we will mirror the beam. So, essentially, uh, this point will become, uh, hindi na yan A. Essentially, parang ano na yan. This will become B, tas ito naman, magiging A. Let me just modify the figure. Ayan. So, once you mirror the beam, notice that it will just look like the previous figure. Kasi, uh, if you will mirror the beam, then this would be the left support, A. So we will measure X from this particular point. Parang ano na, right to left. So in this figure, X is already lesser than A. So we can apply the formula. But just take note na babalik ta rin lang natin yung mga distances. Ayan, when applying this formula. So I believe you can understand it more or internalize it kapag meron na tayong example. So we have the following beam, and we are to determine the deflection at 5.5 meters from the left support, the deflection at point C. We also want to determine the slope at point D, ditong banda, 
then the deflection at E, which is already sa overhanging portion natin. So the real question is, how can we use the method of superposition to obtain the deflection at E? Yan yung medyo challenging na part. The rest, uh, plug and play lang sa formulas. But take note that we have to apply integration since our formula is for point loads only or concentrated loads. Applying integration, we can sum up the effects of all concentrated loads in a distributed load. Yan yung gagawin natin. Sige, so for the first question, we have to determine the deflection at 5.5 meters from the left support. Andito yan. We have 4 meters, then halfway between B to C. Yan yung point na pagkukuna natin ng deflection. Now, for the distributed load, let's check if we can apply the formula. Again, this is applicable if x is lesser than or equal to a. Now, looking at the figure, the maximum value of a, considering the distributed load, let's say the concentrated load specifically at point b, this would be equal to 4 meters. Diba? So, ngayon, 4 meters is lesser than 5.5 meters. Ito kasi yung point na pagkukuna natin ng deflection. Halfway between B to C. X equals 5.5 meters. Ayan. So, it doesn't meet the condition that X is lesser than or equal to A. So, ano yung gagawin natin? We have to mirror the beam to be able to apply this formula. So, essentially, ito yung mangyayari. Since we need to integrate the distributed load to sum up all of the effects, let's just consider a strip. So, label natin as dx. This is a very small horizontal distance. So, the distance from the left support going to the strip is equal to a. Ayan. So, ito naman, distance going to the right support. Again, wag mong i-measure up to point E since this is already an overhanging portion. This would be B. But again, since we did not meet the condition wherein the value of X must be lesser than A, we have to mirror the beam. Now, to avoid confusion lang, I usually tell my students to label X here as X sub 1. Uh, pinalitan ko na lang yung equation natin. Bale, this is applicable if x sub 1 is lesser than or equal to a. Now, ginawa ko yung x sub 1 because when we are integrating, we are essentially using the variable x. So, uh, ito na lang yung i-label mo as x, then x sub 1 na lang yung point na pagkukunan mo ng deflection. So, essentially, once we mirror the beam, this becomes b. Then, ito naman yung magiging A. So, the question is, saan yung origin natin sa integration? Now, ideally, but not all the time, especially if merong triangular loads wherein kailangan tayong mag-ratio and proportion, ideally, yung value ng X mo, or the starting point of the origin, should be dun sa side ng B. So, for example, I could measure X from this particular point so that this value going to the differential element or strip, this would be equal to x. So notice that b would be equal to x din. Now, take note that b moves if this strip moves. Diba kasi uh, this strip can move here. Ayan, so magbabago rin yung value ng b sa ka x. Variable yung distance nila. And so the starting point is from 0 then the length of the distributed load is equal to 4 meters. So we will integrate from 0 to 4. Ayan. Uh, and then we will integrate this formula. So sir, ano yung value ng P? The value of P is the concentrated load of this differential element. Diba, yung value ng distributed load is just equal to the area. So if you are to draw the differential strip, ayan. This is dx. Ito yung base ng rectangle. Tapos yung height niya is 3 kN per meter. So the area of the rectangle, this is equal to the equivalent concentrated load. 
So, this height is equal to 3 multiplied by dx. This is equal to the concentrated load. Ayan. So, we have 3 dx. Zoom out na lang natin. Ayan. P is equal to 3 dx. Color na lang natin. Ayan. Then, ano yung B? Yung B naman is this distance. Which is also equal to x according to the figure. So, multiplied by x. Then, x sub 1 is equal to this distance. From point D, since na mirror na natin yung beam, going to the point where we want to take the deflection. So, this distance is equal to, if this is 10, then 10 minus 5.5 .5 is equal to 4.5 meters. This is x sub 1. Ayan. So, times 4.5. So, again, this is B. Ayan. Tapos, yung naka-red, ito naman yung x sub 1. Then, divided by 6 times L, yung length na i-consider natin is not the total length of the beam since meron tayong overhanging portion. We only have to consider the length of the simply supported span. So, yung length na yan is equal to 10 meters. So, divided by 6L, L is equal to 10. Ayan. Color na lang natin. Now, EI is constant daw according to the problem. So, ilalabas na lang natin siya sa integral sign. So, divided by, I mean, 1 over EI, ilalabas na lang natin. Then, we have to multiply this by L squared minus B squared minus X sub 1 squared. So, copy this. 10 squared, then minus B squared, X squared minus 4.5 squared. Ayan. So, medyo madali lang yung formula. Meron kasing pattern. Ayan. X 4.5. Tapos, ito yung L. Now, sa calculator, by default, yung dx dyan is nasa dulo. So, you can't input as is. So, bale, yung dx dyan, andito talaga. Ayan. So, for p, just input the height without multiplying by the base, dx. I-align na lang natin. So, this is equal to the load P. Ayan. But essentially, ito talaga yung load. 3 dx. So, input mo na lang yan sa calculator. Uh, this will give us 2583 over 20, which is equal to 129.15. So, this is equal to 129.15 dx. Then, the unit is Kn m cube, then multiplied by 1 over Ei, or essentially, divided by Ei. Ayan. Now, in this figure pala, tinagal ko yung concentrated load at this particular point para ma-emphasize natin yung concept ng superposition. Kasi di ba sa concept ng superposition, we can divide the loadings into different figures, then analyze their individual effects, then, once nakuha na natin yung individual effects, i-add na lang natin lahat. So, this is considering the distributed load alone. So, we must also make a figure that only considers the concentrated load of 50 kN. So, this is our second figure. Considering the concentrated load only, we have 50 kN applied at point C. Now, the point where we want to take the deflection is at this particular point at x sub 1, again, x sub 1 na lang yung label natin, equals 5.5 meters. Now, let's check the condition. ba ito yung formula natin. Notice that in this particular figure, we already meet this condition. Because x sub 1 must be lesser than or equal to a. Now, if this is our concentrated load, then this is the distance A. Ayan, measured from the left. So A is equal to 4 plus 
3 meters, we have 7 meters. So, 7 is greater than 5.5. .5. So, pasok na siya dyan. So, bale, direct substitution na lang. So, the deflection at 5.5 .5 meters would be, the value of P is 50 kilonewtons. No need to integrate since this is already a concentrated load. Then, ano naman yung B? Yung value ng B is going to be 3 meters. Ayan. Measured from the right support. So, multiplied by 3, then x sub 1 is equal to 5.5 .5 meters, tapos divided by 6L times EI, so 6 times 10 meters, yung simply supported span, EI, then we have L squared, 10 squared minus B squared, minus x sub 1 squared. Ayan. So, in putting this sa calculator, this would give us 835.3125. Then, our unit is kn knm cubed divided by ei. So, to obtain the total deflection, at a point 5.5 .5 meters from the left support, the total deflection is equal to the deflection due to the distributed load plus the deflection due to the concentrated load. So we would have 129.15 then plus 835.3125 This would give us 964.4625 then KNM cube divided by EI so this is our final answer then the direction of this deflection is actually downward since in our initial figure we have assumed all downward deflections since this is a downward load. So, in the case where P is acting upward, then just use a negative sign. But again, magkabaliktad yung uh, convention natin or yung assumptions. Yung downward is positive, upward naman is negative according to the formulas. Now, for the remaining problems, i-discuss ko na lang sila in another video. But essentially, same process lang. Same process, same concept. Superposition lang lahat. And then, just using the three formulas na binigay ko. So, pag na-master mo na yung method na to, you won't have to solve the reactions and then apply double integration. You can just directly substitute the variables in this formula. Makukuha mo na yung kilangan mo. So, I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. And then, try to apply this uh, uh, problem sets na binigay sa inyo last time. Or if you are taking this for the first time, then try to apply this in the previous methods. So for example, merong binigay na uh, plate or example sa double integration, try to use superposition method and check if you will obtain the same value. Ganyan talaga yung practice sa uh, structural theory. Always compare with other methods so that you will be able to understand and identify kung ano yung best method for a particular problem.